Hi, this is Shep Hyken, customer service speaker, expert, and the author of the New York Times and the Wall Street Journal best-selling business book, The Amazement Revolution. On this video, I'm going to share with you what may be the very, very best customer service quote of all time. Here it is. A customer is the most important visitor on our premises. He is not dependent upon us. We are dependent upon him. He is not an interruption on work. He is the purpose of it. He is not an outsider to our business. He is part of it. We are not doing him a favor by serving him. He is doing us a favor by giving us the opportunity to do it. The author of this quotation isn't a famous CEO recognized for business. He's not the author of a best-selling book. Would it surprise you to learn that the gentleman who wrote this is not at all known for business, but best known for a stand against violence and for living a simple life. And it was from a speech delivered in 1890. Yet these words are still powerful words spoken by a powerful and influential man. The author of the above quote is Mahatma Gandhi. By the way, I've researched to verify that Gandhi is the author. Some say it was L.L. L. Bean, and I've talked to the fine people at L.L. L. Bean who verified that they modified the Gandhi quote. If you have any proof that it wasn't Gandhi, please let me know. So business people are typically the ones writing quotes about customer service, not peace-seeking activists. But when it comes right down to it, these words are simply about treating another person the way they should be treated. If all of the employees you work with brought this philosophy into work and demonstrated it every day to both their external and their internal customers, you would be part of an amazing organization to work with and do business with. So let's break this quote down. A customer is the most important visitor on our premises. We welcome a customer into the business. It can be in person or on the phone. Even if your business is an online website, you must draw the customer in and make them feel comfortable. He is not dependent upon us. We are dependent upon him. While your customers may be dependent on what you sell, in the end, you're more dependent upon them. Your customers pay the salaries for you and the rest of the employees of your organization. For without customers, you have no sales, which means you have no cash flow. He is not an interruption on our work. He is the purpose of it. No one should ever treat customers as if they're an interruption. On the contrary, customers should always feel welcomed and encouraged to interrupt us whenever they want to. He is not an outsider to our business. He is part of it. If your customers are made to feel as if they're outsiders, they'll eventually find a competitor who makes them feel better about doing business with them. We are not doing him a favor by serving him. He is doing us a favor by giving us the opportunity to do it. In the end, the customer has choices. They honor us with their business. Maybe it's not quite doing us a favor, but the alternative is the customer does business with their competition. Make the customer feel special and appreciate it. So watch this video again. Share it with all of the people you work with. Discuss it, embrace it, implement it. This is quintessential business advice. Well, I hope you enjoyed this short lesson. Please be sure to visit my website, which is www.hyken.com. There you'll find more information about my speaking programs, as well as over 150 customer service articles that you can read and share with your colleagues. Thank you very much for watching. This is Shep Hyken reminding you to always be amazing.